Welcome to Let's Get Metaphysical, the show that stretches you beyond your five senses. When you are looking for your next step on the path into the unseen, we've got you covered. Join epic adventure seekers and level up your game with your host, reality magician, Allie Bierman. What you resist persists. What did Carl Jung mean when he made that very, very powerful observation? Well, if you see something in your life and you consider it to be a problem or a challenge or an obstacle that is something you don't want, you want to push it away, you want to suppress it, you want to repress it. If you are hurting and you don't want that choice, you don't want to be in pain. If you want to fix something or change something or not have to experience something, that's resistance. And what happens when you're resisting something? You're focusing on it. And what you focus on, you're putting lots of energy into it. And it's not going to go away. It's going to get bigger and bigger and bigger in your life. If it's a pain, it's going to hurt worse and worse and worse. What can you do instead? Well, first of all, remember, you are not your mind. You are not your body. You are conscious awareness, the observer of what your body's experiencing. But your mind and your body, they don't experience anything. They can't. You, as the observer, can experience it, but knowing how do you stop resisting it? Well, when something hurts you and something really upsets you, instead of saying, oh no, not this again, I don't want to go through this again. That's what I did for years with the atrial fibrillation episodes, and it would start, and I was doing something really important. Didn't want the distraction. I say, no, not now, no, not now. What was I doing? I was resisting it. I was saying, go away. I was saying, I choose not to be in that experience. I was pouring energy into it. So, of course, <laughs> of course, it got worse. And I'm laughing because I'm realizing when I'm in a position where I occupy my mind so it goes away, <laughs> it literally goes away. But here's something else. When it's really, really bad or you have something that's really, really painful, instead of trying to change it or wish it away or hope it goes away, welcome it. Now, don't go away. Stay here with me. Let me explain this to you. If you welcome it, I mean, you could even welcome it with open arms. It might intensify for a few moments and that it will dissipate. I'll say that again. When you welcome it, instead of fighting it, you will feel whatever that unwelcome experience is because you are welcoming it, because you're not fighting it, because you're not wishing it away, because you're not suppressing it or repressing it. It will go through you and be done. If it's something that's been going on for years, it might come back. But if it comes back, it's going to be with a reduced intensity. If it's something that's been going on very many years, it might come back a few times. But each time when you're welcoming it and you're feeling and you're allowing it to be, instead of trying to chase it away, it will hurt, challenge you, feel less and less potent in your life, in your world. So the way to get through obstacles, the way to take on the true meaning of struggle is optional is to welcome 
what you don't want happening in your life, what you don't want happening in your world. Welcome it. Let it move through you, whether it's emotional, whether it's physical. Welcome it and be with it, and it will diminish and diminish and diminish until it's gone. Now that's what I do when I am doing something important and the atrial fibrillation episode starts. First thing I say to myself is, am I the AFib or am I the one observing it? Well, duh, I'm the one observing it. So right away, there's an awareness, because that's what I am, that's what you are, or conscious awareness, not your body, not your mind, but recognizing ourselves as the awareness of that experience allows us to welcome it, to take it on, to move through it. So we're not making it bigger and bigger in our lives. We're not wishing it would stop hurting. We're not saying go away because it doesn't go away. Did you ever notice if you, uh, well, everybody gets angry now and then. Did you ever notice if you blow off steam and you say, phew, I feel better now. No, you don't. <laughs> it actually has the reverse happening in your body, mind, spirit. It is going into resistance. It doesn't help you to blow off steam. It hurts you. It makes it go deeper inside to come up another time, only come up with a bigger flare. What you resist persists. So if you notice that the same kind of thing keeps happening in your life, that you don't want, stop fighting it. Stop fighting it. Stop wishing it away. Stop wanting it to be different because all of those thoughts, what's happening is you're building the resistance that makes it persist in your world. So the universe will bring you, if it's a problem with a certain type of person, guess what the universe is going to bring to you if you're resisting it? Another person who gets in your face with the same issue and another person and another person and another person until you stop fighting it and still you stop wishing it away until you welcome in the experience. Let it happen. Notice how it feels. Remember, it's not you. You are the one aware of it existing in your world and you are the only one who can take away the focus so it has to deflate like a balloon it has to deflate you're taking the air out of it when you stop focusing there if you've never taken advantage of my gift for you please go ahead and get a free copy. I'm not sure how long I'm going to let this go because it's my most popular book, selling book, that right now I am gifting it to you because you are here watching this video or listening to this audio. And the link to get it will be down below so you can go there, get your copy. And that'll also allow you to be a my newsletter list. So every week, you'll get another tidbit to take you into your conscious awareness and allow you to move out of your whole home life and to thrive. 
because you're not here just to go through the motions of life. You're here to enjoy. And that's capital I-N, capital J-O-Y, every moment. Because love and joy are the highest frequencies. And when you live there, You live in the truth that struggle is indeed optional. I thank you for joining me here, and I look forward to talking with you tomorrow or next week, depending upon how often you drop by. And if you're here in the Thrive Don't Just Survive page on Facebook, I'm here every day. And Every week, I'm all over the internet. So I also want to remind you, if you are listening to or watching the podcast, we're here at Let's Get Metaphysical, connecting heart and mind. And if this stuff sounds woo-woo, well, the whole purpose of metaphysical is to take the truth of how energy in your life works out of the woo-woo sphere and into your everyday experience. Because whether or not you recognize it, it's there. If you haven't done so already, remember to follow us so that you get to watch or listen to us every week with a new episode. And please join our Facebook group where you can ask questions, make a new friend, and see some special offers. And we very much appreciate your joining our community on Patreon. And the link for that will also be in the show notes. Depending on what level, you can be joining us for a live Zoom chat where you can ask me anything and see some of the other people who are here experiencing Let's Get Metaphysical. You've been listening to a talk on the wilder side. Thanks for tuning in to Let's Get Metaphysical. Be sure to subscribe so that you don't miss a single episode. And while you're at it, please leave a rating and review and be sure to share it with your friends. Tune in every Monday for more exciting insights and wisdom on life beyond your five senses. Until next time, take a small step in a new direction. Start now. Thank you.